Prince Shah Karim al Husseini, known by the religious title Maulana Hossa Imam within Ismaili Shia circles and as Aga Khan for elsewhere, is the 49th and current Imam of Nizari Ismailism, a denomination of Ismailism within Shia Islam. He has held this position of Imam since the 11th of July 1957, when, at the age of 20, he succeeded his grandfather, Sir Sultan Muhammad Shah Aga Khan III. Aga Khan claims to be a direct lineal descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad through Muhammad's cousin and son-in-law, Ali, considered Imam in Shia Islam, and Ali's wife Fatima, Muhammad's daughter from his first marriage. His grandfather, Aga Khan III, states in his memoirs that the Shias had a need divine guidance after the Prophet of Islam's death. This need of the Shias manifested in their belief system for the institution of the Imamate. Thus, after the death of Prophet of Islam, the Shias established the institute of the Imamate. According to the Aga Khan III as mentioned in his memoirs, he has actual divine power, guidance, and leadership the institution of an Imamate, has continued to present day with the Aga Khan IV as the 49th Imam of the Ismaili Muslim community. The Aga Khan is a business magnate with British and Portuguese citizenship, as well as a racehorse owner and breeder. Aga Khan's net worth has been estimated at $13 billion. Forbes describes the Aga Khan as one of the world's 15 richest royals. Additionally, he is unique among the richest royals as he does not rule over a geographic territory. Among the goals the Aga Khan has said he works toward are the elimination of global poverty, the promotion and implementation of religious pluralism, the advancement of the status of women, and the honoring of Islamic art and architecture. He is the founder and chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, one of the largest private development networks in the world. The organization works toward improvement of the environment, health, education, architecture, culture, microfinance, rural development, disaster reduction, the promotion of private sector enterprise and the revitalization of historic cities. Since his ascension to the Imamate of the Nizari Ismailis in 1957, the Aga Khan has been involved in complex political and economic changes which have affected his followers, including the independence of African countries from colonial rule, the expulsion of Asians from Uganda, the independence of Central Asian countries such as Tajikistan from the former Soviet Union, and the continuous turmoil in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Aga Khan IV became the first faith leader to address the joint session of the Parliament of Canada on 27 February 2014. Chapter 1 – Early Life Born Shah Karim al husseini the Aga Khan IV is the eldest son of Prince Ali Khan, and his first wife, Princess Tajadola Aga Khan, formerly Joan Yard Buller, the eldest daughter of British peer third Baron Churston a member of the British nobility. Born in Geneva, Switzerland, on 13 December 1936, Prince Karim was declared healthy despite being born prematurely. The Aga Khan's brother, Amin Aga Khan, was born less than a year later. Their parents divorced in 1949, in part due to Prince Ali Khan's extramarital affairs, and Prince Ali Khan shortly after married American actress Rita Hayworth, with whom he had a daughter, Princess Yasmin Aga Khan, the half-sister of Aga Khan IV. The Aga Khan IV also had a half-brother, Patrick Benjamin Guinness, from his mother's first marriage, as Joan Yard Buller was previously married to Lowell Guinness of the Banking Guinnesses. Prince Karim spent his childhood in Nairobi, Kenya, where his early education was by private tutoring. His grandfather, Aga Khan III, engaged Mustafa Kamil, a teacher from Aligarh Muslim University, for both Prince Karim and Prince Amin. Prince Karim later attended the Institut La Rose in Switzerland, the most expensive boarding school in the world, for nine years where he ended up with, in his words, fair grades. As a youngster Prince Karim would have preferred to attend MIT and study science, but his grandfather, Aga Khan III, vetoed the decision and Prince Karim attended Harvard University, where he was elected a member of the Delphic Club. There he majored in Islamic history. When his grandfather died, the young prince was thrust into the position of the Aga Khan, and he went from being not only a university student but also replacing his grandfather as the new Nizari Imam. 
he said about it, overnight, my whole life changed completely. I woke up with serious responsibilities toward millions of other human beings. I knew I would have to abandon my hopes of studying for a doctorate in history. The Aga Khan four graduated from Harvard in 1959, two years after becoming the Imam of the Nizari Ismailis, with a Bachelor of Arts degree in history and his varsity H for football. The young Aga Khan was a competitive downhill skier, and he skied for Iran in the 1964 Winter Olympics. Chapter 2 Marriages The Aga Khan's first wife was former British model Sarah Frances Crocker Poole, who assumed the name Begum Salima Aga Khan upon marrying him. Sarah Frances was a divorcee, having previously been married to Lord James Charles Crichton Stewart, son of John Crichton Stewart. 5th Marquess of Butte. The wedding ceremonies were held on the 22nd of October 1969 and the 28th of October 1969 at Karim Aga Khan's home in Paris. By 1984, the Aga Khan and Begum Salima had taken to living separate lives. However, their marriage did not officially end by divorce until 11 years later, in 1995. The Aga Khan and Begum Salima had one daughter and two sons together. Zara Aga Khan Rahim Aga Khan Hussein Aga Khan The Aga Khan married for the second time on 30 May 1998 at his walled compound and chateau, Aiglemont, in Gouvieu, France. The bride was Gabriele Renata Thyssen, who assumed the name Begum in Ara Aga Khan at her wedding. Born to Roman Catholic German entrepreneur parents in 1963, Gabriele was 27 years younger than the Aga Khan. She was also a divorcee, having previously been married to Prince Karl Emich of Leiningen, by whom she had a daughter, Teresa. Two years after the wedding, the Aga Khan became a father again at the age of 64, with the birth of a son, Ali Muhammad, in 2000. On 8 October 2004, after six years of marriage, an announcement was made that the Aga Khan and Begum Inara would be seeking a divorce. However, it was not until September 2011, seven years later, that a divorce settlement was reached between them in the French courts, and the divorce settlement amount was agreed upon only in March 2014. By Begum Inara, the Aga Khan has a son. Ali Muhammad Aga Khan Chapter 3, Ascension to Nizari Ismaili Imamat Following the death of his grandfather the Aga Khan III, Prince Karim, at the age of 20, became the 49th Imam of the Nizari Ismailis and Aga Khan IV, bypassing his father, Prince Ali Khan, and his uncle, Prince Sodradin Aga Khan, who were in direct line to succession. In his will, the Aga Khan III explained the rationale for choosing his eldest grandson as his successor. In view of the fundamentally altered conditions in the world has provoked many changes, including the discoveries of atomic science, I am convinced that it is in the best interests of the Nizari Ismaili community that I should be succeeded by a young man who has been brought up and developed during recent years, and in the midst of the new age, and who brings a new outlook on life to his office. In light of his grandfather's will, the Aga Khan IV has sometimes been referred to by Nizari Ismailis as the Imam of the Atomic Age. The will of the Aga Khan III added that the next Aga Khan, in the first several years of his Imamat, should look to the Aga Khan III's widow for guidance on general matters pertaining to the Imamat. I desire that my successor shall, during the first seven years of his Imamat, be guided on questions of general Imamat policy, by my said wife, Yvette called Yves Blanche Le Bruce on Habiba, the Begum Aga Khan, who has been familiar for many years with the problems facing my followers, and in whose wise judgment, I place the greatest confidence. Chapter 4, Nizari Ismaili Imamat Upon taking the position of Imam, the Aga Khan IV stated that he intended to continue the work his grandfather had pursued in building modern institutions to improve the quality of life of the Nizari Ismailis. Takht Nashini ceremonies occurred at several locations over the course of 1957 and 1958. During this time, 
The Aga Khan emphasized to his followers the importance of fostering positive relations with different ethnicities, a message highly appropriate considering the racially tense atmosphere in East Africa at the time between blacks and South Asians. During the Aga Khan's installation ceremonies in the Indian subcontinent, the Aga Khan stressed his commitment to improving the standard of living of Nizari Ismailis and encouraged cooperation with individuals of other religions. The main themes that the Aga Khan emphasized to his community during these first few months of his imamat were material development, education, interracial harmony, and confidence in religion. In 1972, under the regime of President Idi Amin of Uganda, people of South Asian origin, including Nizari Ismailis, were expelled. The South Asians, some of whose families had lived in Uganda for over 100 years, were given 90 days to leave the country. The Aga Khan phoned his longtime friend Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. Trudeau's government agreed to allow thousands of Nizari Ismailis to immigrate to Canada. The Aga Khan also undertook urgent steps to facilitate the resettlement of Nizari Ismailis displaced from Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, and Burma, to other countries. Most of these Nizari Ismailis found new homes in Asia, Europe, and North America. Most of the initial resettlement problems were overcome remarkably rapidly by Nizari Ismailis due to their educational backgrounds and high rates of literacy, as well as the efforts of the Aga Khan and the host countries, and moral and material support from Nizari Ismaili community programs. The Aga Khan has encouraged Nizari Ismailis settled in the industrialized world to contribute towards the progress of communities in the developing world through various development programs. He has described his role as Imam as being partly to uplift the material and spiritual well-being of Nizari Ismailis, a duty which requires an understanding of Nizari Ismailis in the context of their geographic location and their time. He elaborated on this concept in a 2006 speech in Germany, saying the role and responsibility of an Imam, therefore, is both to interpret the faith to the community, and also to do all within his means to improve the quality, and security, of their daily lives and the people with whom Ismailis share their lives. This engagement of the Aga Khan with Nizari Ismailis is said to extend to the people with whom the Nizari Ismailis share their lives, locally and internationally. The Aga Khan is one of several Shia signatories of the Aman message which gives a broad foundation for defining those denominations of Islam that should be considered as part of the wider Muslim Umar. During the Pope Benedict XVI Islam controversy, he said. I have two reactions to the Pope's lecture. There is my concern about the degradation of relations and, at the same time, I see an opportunity. A chance to talk about a serious, important issue, the relationship, between religion and logic. When the Aga Khan IV was asked about his view on the consumption of alcohol in a 1965 interview with the Sunday Times he said, in line with Muslim teaching. Our belief is that the thing which separates man from the animals is his power of thought. Anything that impedes this process is wrong. Therefore, alcohol is forbidden. I have never touched alcohol. But this, to me, is not a Puritan prohibition. I don't want to drink. I've never wanted to drink. There's no pressure being placed on me by my religion. Chapter 5, The Status of the Imam in Nizari Ismailism the Ismailis are a community of Shia Islam, and their theology is derived from the teachings of the Shi Imams Dash Ali ibn Abi Talib, Muhammad al Bakir, and Jafar al Sadiq. According to early Shi Ismaili theology, God or Allah is absolutely transcendent and unique. Unlike Sunni theology, where God's essence is conjoined to eternal attributes, the early Shi Imams emphasized a theology according to which God's essence is beyond all names and attributes. The first creation of God it is a spiritual entity or light called the intellect, the light of Muhammad or the light of Ali. This cosmic intellect or light exists prior to the creation of the physical world, and is the highest of created beings is identified with the eternal Imam or the spiritual essence of the Prophet Muhammad and the Shi Imams. The historical Imams on earth are the locus of manifestation of the light or intellect. 
Ismaili philosophers developed these ideas further using Neoplatonic frameworks and identified the intellect or light of the Imam with the universal intellect of Plotinus. Similarly, the Imam's human soul, revered as pure based on Quran 3333, is regarded as the reflective mirror of the universal intellect of the 1975 Ismaili Association Conference, a meeting of the Aga Khan with senior Nizari Ismaili council leaders from several countries addressed the question of the status of the Imam. It mentioned the Imam to be explained as the Mazar of God, and the relationship between God and the Imam to be related to varying levels of inspiration and communication from God to man. Paris Conference Report The term Mazar is also used in Sufi literature by Ibn Arabi, Nasir al-Din al-Tusi and many others. The meaning of the word Mazar denotes the idea of a mirror in which an object is reflected as an image but not incarnate. Similarly, the Imam as Mazar differs greatly from the idea of incarnation or indwelling in which the Divine dwells inside a material body. The Imam is not seen as an incarnation of divinity. The Imam is also the Pur within Nizari Ismailism denoting a title from the Sufi heritage of Nizari Ismaili history. Chapter 5 Section 1, Silver Jubilee Year of Imamat From the 11th of July 1982 to the 11th of July 1983, to celebrate the present Aga Khan's Silver Jubilee, marking the 25th anniversary of his accession to the Imamat, many new social and economic development projects were launched. These range from the establishment of the 450 million US dollars International Aga Khan University with its Faculty of Health Sciences and Teaching Hospital based in Karachi, the expansion of schools for girls and medical centers in the Hunza region, to the establishment of the Aga Khan Rural Support Program in Gujarat, India, and the extension of existing urban hospitals and primary health care centers in Tanzania and Kenya. Nor Karimi was married during the Silver Jubilee year of Imamat and he even placed the ring on her finger. Chapter 5 Section 2 Golden Jubilee Year of Imamat The 11th of July 2007 to the 13th of December 2008 marked the 50th anniversary of the Aga Khan's reign of Imamat. On this occasion, Leaders representing Nizari Ismailis from different areas of the world gathered at the Aga Khan's residence to pay homage to the Imam. As part of the Golden Jubilee, the Aga Khan made official visits to various countries, using the visits to recognize the friendship and long-standing support of certain leaders of state, government, and others, to the Aga Khan and his Nizari Ismaili community, as well as to lay the foundations for certain future initiatives and programs. Areas of the world visited included the Americas, Europe, Asia, and Africa. The Aga Khan also organized a Nizari Ismaili sports meet in Kenya, and teams of Nizari Ismailis from different areas of the world came to play in this event. One of the initiatives of the Golden Jubilee was the Jubilee Games, firstly named as the Golden Jubilee Games but continued as the Jubilee Games. The first event was held in Kenya in 2008. The second Jubilee Games were held in Dubai, UAE in July 2016. Chapter 5 Section 3, Diamond Jubilee Year of Imamat The 11th of July 2017 to the 11th of July 2018 has been designated the Diamond Jubilee Year of the Aga Khan's 60th year of reign. The Aga Khan traveled throughout the Diamond Jubilee year to countries where his humanitarian institutions operate to launch new programs that help alleviate poverty and increase access to education, housing and childhood development. The Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee opening ceremony was held in his Aiglemont estate. On 8 March 2018, Queen Elizabeth hosted the Aga Khan at Windsor Castle at a dinner to mark his Diamond Jubilee. He has visited a number of countries including the United States, UAE, India, Pakistan, Canada, France, UK, Kenya, and others. During his visit to Houston, he announced the Ismaili Center Houston. The Diamond Jubilee ended with grand celebrations in Lisbon, Portugal on and around the 11th of July 2018. People from around the world came to celebrate with their worldwide community. 
There were many concerts, a Jubilee Arts Festival, and other events planned for tens of thousands of people. Following a historic agreement with the Portuguese Republic in 2015, His Highness the Aga Khan officially designated the premises located at Rua Marx de Fronteira in Lisbon, the Henrique de Mendonca Palace, as the seat of the Ismaili Imamat on of July 2018, and declared that it be known as the Divan of the Ismaili Imamat. Chapter 6 Aga Khan Development Network The Aga Khan is the founder and chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, which coordinates the activities of over 200 agencies and institutions, employing approximately 80,000 paid staff, the majority of whom are based in developing countries. AKDN is partly funded by his followers and donor partners that include numerous governments and several international organizations. AKDN agencies operate in the fields of health, education, culture, rural development, institution building and the promotion of economic development, with a special focus on countries of the third world. It is dedicated to improving living conditions and opportunities for the poor, without regard to their faith, origin or sex. The AKDN's annual budget for non-profit development activities in 2010 was approximately 625 million US dollars. The network operates in more than 35 of the poorest countries in the world. AKDN includes the Aga Khan University, the University of Central Asia, the for-profit Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development, the Aga Khan Trust for Culture, the Aga Khan Foundation, the Aga Khan Health Services, the Aga Khan Education Services, the Aga Khan Planning and Building Services, and the Aga Khan Agency for Microfinance. One of the companies that the ACFT is the main shareholder of is the Serena Hotels Group, a chain of luxury hotels and resorts primarily located in Africa and Asia. The Aga Khan Award for Architecture is the largest architectural award in the world. The Aga Khan is also the chairman of the Board of Governors of the Institute of Ismaili Studies, which he founded in 1977. He is also a Vice President of the Royal Commonwealth Society. Focus Humanitarian Assistance, an affiliate of the AKDN, is responsible for emergency response in the face of disaster. Recent disasters that Focus was involved in helping address include the 2005 earthquake in Pakistan and the South Asian tsunami. Significant recent or current projects that are related to the development and that are being led by the Aga Khan include the delegation of the Ismaili Imamat and the Global Center for Pluralism in Ottawa, the Aga Khan Museum in Toronto, the Al Azhar Park in Cairo, the Bar e Baba restoration in Kabul, and a network of full IB residential schools known as the Aga Khan Academies. The Aga Khan has expressed concern about the work of the AKDN being described as philanthropy. In his address to the Evangelish Academy Tutsing, when he was awarded their Tolerance Prize in 2006, he described this concern. Reflecting a certain historical tendency of the West, to separate the secular from the religious, they often describe either as philanthropy or entrepreneurship. What is not understood is that this work is for us a part of our institutional responsibility, it flows from the mandate of the office of Imam to improve the quality of worldly life for the concerned communities. Chapter 7, Promotion of Islamic Architecture In 1977, the Aga Khan established the Aga Khan Award for Architecture, an award recognizing excellence in architecture that encompasses contemporary design and social, historical, and environmental considerations. It is the largest architectural award in the world, and is granted triennially. The award grew out of the Aga Khan's desire to revitalize creativity in Islamic societies and acknowledge creative solutions for buildings, facilities and public spaces. The prize winner is selected by an independent master jury convened for each cycle. In 1979, Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology established the Aga Khan Program for Islamic Architecture, which is supported by an endowment from Aga Khan. These programs provide degree courses, public lectures, and conferences for the study of Islamic architecture and urbanism. Understanding contemporary conditions and developmental issues are key components of the academic program. 
The program engages in research at both institutions and students can graduate with a Master of Science of Architectural Studies specializing in the Aga Khan program from MIT's Department of Architecture. Chapter 8, Personal Finances Forbes describes the Aga Khan as one of the world's 15 richest royals, one rank below the Sultan of Oman, with an estimated net worth of 1 billion US dollars. He is unique among the richest royals in that he does not preside over a geographic territory. He owns hundreds of racehorses, valuable stud farms, an exclusive yacht club on Sardinia, Bell Island in the Bahamas, two bombardier jets, a £100 million high-speed yacht Alamshar, and several estates around the world, with his primary residence at Edelmont Estate in the town of Gouvieu, France north of Paris. The Aga Khan's philanthropic non-profit institutions spend about US$600 million US dollars per year, mainly in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The Aga Khan is and has been involved in multiple business ventures, in such areas as communications media, and luxury hotels. In 1959 he founded the Kenyan media company Nation Media Group. In the 1990s, the Aga Khan had a group of 400 US dollars a night Italian luxury hotels, called Sega. Currently the Aga Khan, through his for-profit act, is the largest shareholder in the Serena Hotels chain. The Aga Khan's racing horse businesses bring in considerable income. He owns and operates the largest horse racing and breeding operation in France, the French horse auction house, Arcana, Giltown Stud near Kilcullen in Ireland, and other breeding slash stud farms in Europe. In 2009, Forbes reported that the Aga Khan's net worth was 800 million US dollars, after a decline of 200 million dollars over the course of the previous year. In 2013, Vanity Fair estimated his fortune to be well over 1 billion US dollars. Chapter 8 Section 1, Thoroughbred Horse Racing At his self-titled estate Aiglemont, in the town of Gouvieu in the Picardy region of France, about 4 kilometers west of the Chantilly Racecourse, the Aga Khan operates the largest horse racing and breeding operation in the country. In 1977, he paid £1.3 million for the bloodstock owned by Anna Dupree and in 1978, £4.7 million for the bloodstock of Marcel Boussac. The Aga Khan is said to be France's most influential owner breeder and record winner of the Prix de Diane, sometimes referred to as the French Oaks. The Aga Khan owns Giltown Stud near Kilcullen, Ireland, and the Harris de Bonval breeding farm at the Laminil Morga in France. In March 2005, he purchased the Calvados stud farms, the Harris Dooley in Pont Dooley and the Harris de Val Henry in Liverot. Harris Dooley had been owned by such horsemen as the Duc de Cazes, Francois Dupree and Jean-Luc Lagardere. In 2006 the Aga Khan became the majority shareholder of French horse auction house Arcana. On the 27th of October 2009 it was announced that See the Stars, regarded by many as one of the greatest racehorses of all time, would stand stud at the Aga Khan's Giltown stud in Ireland. His unbeaten homebred filly, Zarkava, won the 2008 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. His homebred colt, Harzand, won the 2016 Epsom Derby, and the 2016 Irish Derby. The Aga Khan was the lead owner of Sherga, the Irish racehorse that was kidnapped from Ballymoney stud farm in County Kildare, Ireland by masked men in 1983 and held for ransom. The Aga Khan and the other co-owners refused to pay a ransom, and the horse was not recovered. The Aga Khan, the police and the public suspected the provisional Irish Republican Army of the abduction, though the IRA denied all involvement. In 1999, former IRA member Sean O'Callaghan published an autobiography in which he implicates the IRA as being responsible for the abduction. Sherga had become a national symbol in Ireland, and the IRA had underestimated the public outpouring of support for the horse and the backlash for the IRA even among Irish Republicans who had historically supported the IRA, leading the IRA to deny involvement. Chapter 8 Section 2, Yacht Alamshar The Aga Khan is an ardent yachtsman. He co-founded the yacht club Costa Smeralda in Porto Servo, Sardinia in 1967. 
He also commissioned a 164-foot yacht, Alamshar, named after a prized racehorse of his, with a price tag of £200 million. The cost and maintenance are partly covered by chartering. The yacht was advertised as having a top speed of 60 knots, capable of setting a new transatlantic speed record. It reached a speed in excess of 55 knots in its initial trials but despite the claims, it was never intended for transatlantic speed records as it does not have the range. Chapter 9, Titles, Styles and Honors The titles Prince and Princess are used by the Aga Khans and their children by virtue of their descent from Shah Fath Ali Shah of the Persian Qajar dynasty. The title was officially recognized by the British government in 1938. Author Farhat Daftari wrote of how the honorific title Aga Khan was first given to Aga Khan I at the age of 13 after the murder of his father. At the same time, the Qajar monarch bestowed on him the honorific title of Aga Khan, meaning Lord and Master. Daftari additionally commented the title of Aga Khan remained hereditary amongst his successors. On the other hand, in a legal proceeding, the Aga Khan III noted that Aga Khan is not a title, but, instead a sort of alias or pet name that was given to Aga Khan I when he was a young man. The style of His Highness was formally granted to the Aga Khan IV by Queen Elizabeth II in 1957 upon the death of his grandfather Aga Khan III. The granting of the title to the Aga Khan IV was preceded by a strong expressed desire of the Aga Khan III to see the British monarchy award the non hereditary title to his successor. The style of His Royal Highness was granted in 1959 to the Aga Khan IV by Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, later overthrown in the Iranian Revolution of 1979, but he uses instead His Highness. Over the years, the Aga Khan has received numerous honors, honorary degrees, and awards. Chapter 9 Section 1 Honors Bahrain Member First Class of the Order of Bahrain Canada Honorary Companion of the Order of Canada Comoros Grand Cross of the Order of the Green Crescent France Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor Commander of the Order of Arts and Letters India Padma Vibhushan Iran Grand Cordon of the Order of the Crown Italy Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic Knight of the Order of Merit for Labour Ivory Coast Grand Cross of the National Order of the Ivory Coast Kenya Chief of the Order of the Golden Heart of Kenya Madagascar Grand Cross Second Class of the National Order of Madagascar Mali Grand Cross of the National Order of Mali Mauritania Commander of the National Order of Merit Morocco Grand Cordon of the Order of the Throne Pakistan Nishan E. Pakistan Nishan I. Imtiaz Portugal Grand Cross of the Order of Liberty Grand Cross of the Order of Christ Grand Cross of the Order of Merit Grand Cross of the Order of Prince Henry Senegal Grand Officer of the Order of the National Lion Spain Grand Cross of the Order of Civil Merit Tajikistan Recipient of the Order of Friendship Uganda Collar of the Order of the Pearl of Africa United Kingdom Ordinary Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire Upper Volta Grand Cross of the National Order of Upper Volta Zanzibar Grand Cross of the Order of the Brilliant Star of Zanzibar Chapter 9 Section 2 Honorary Degrees Canada, Honorary LL.D. Degree, Simon Fraser University. Canada, Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of British Columbia. Canada, Honorary LL.D. Degree, University of Calgary. Canada, Honorary LL.D. 
Degree, McGill University. Canada, Honorary LL Doc D. Degree, McMaster University. Canada, Honorary LL Doc D. Degree, University of Toronto. Canada, Honorary LL Doc D. Degree, University of Alberta. Canada, Honorary Duniv Degree, University of Ottawa. Canada, Honorary DS Lit. Degree, University of Toronto. Canada, Honorary D Lit. Degree in Medieval Studies, Pontifical Institute of Medieval Studies. Pakistan, Honorary LL. D. Degree, University of Sindh. Portugal, Honorary PhD degree, Nova University of Lisbon. United Kingdom, Honorary LL. D. Degree, University of Wales. United Kingdom, Honorary DD degree, University of Cambridge. United States, Honorary LL. D. Degree, Brown University. United States, Honorary LL. D. Degree, Harvard University. Chapter 9 Section 3, Awards. Canada, Key to the City of Ottawa. Canada, Honorary Canadian Citizenship. France, Silver Medal of the Académie d'Architecture. France, Insignia of Honor, International Union of Architects. France, Associate Foreign Member, Académie des Beaux-Arts. France, Philanthropic Entrepreneur of the Year, by Le Nouvel Economist, Paris. Germany, Die Quadriga Award, the United We Care Award. Germany, Tolerance Prize of the Evangelical Academy of Tutsing. Italy, Honorary Citizen of the Town of Arzacchina. Italy, Gold Mercury Ad Personam Award, Non-State Organization. Ivory Coast, Freeman of Abidjan, and presented with a key to the city of Abidjan. Jordan, one of the 500 most influential Muslims in the world, by Royal Islamic Strategic Studies Center. Kazakhstan, State Award for Peace and Progress. Kazakhstan, Honored Educator of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Kenya, Honorary Citizen of the Town of Kasumu. Madagascar, Key to the City of Majunga. Mali, Honorary Citizen of the Islamic Omar of Timbuktu. Mali, Citizen of Honor of the Municipality of Timbuktu. Pakistan, Honorary Colonel of the Sixth Lancers by the Pakistani Army. Pakistan, Honorary Citizen of Lahore, and presented with a key to the city of Lahore. Pakistan, Honorary Membership, Pakistan Medical Association, Sindh. Pakistan, Key, to the city of Karachi. Pakistan, Honorary Fellowship of the College of Physicians and Surgeons Pakistan. Portugal, Key, to the city of Lisbon. Portugal, Foreign Member, Class of Humanities, by Lisbon Academy of Sciences. Portugal, 2013 North-South Prize of the Council of Europe. Portugal, Key, to the city of Porto. Scotland, Carnegie Medal for Philanthropy. Spain, Guest of Honor of Granada. Spain, Honorary Citizen of Granada. Spain, Gold Medal of the City of Granada. Spain, Royal Toledo Foundation Award. Sweden, Arkan Award, International Nursing Honor Society, Sigma Theta Tau International. Tanzania, Honorary Citizen of Dar es Salaam. United Kingdom, the Gold Mercury International AD Personam Award. United Kingdom, Honorary Fellowship, Royal Institute of British Architects. United Kingdom, Andrew Carnegie Medal of Philanthropy. United Kingdom, winner of the 10th Annual Peter O'Sullivan Award at the Savoy in London. United States, Thomas Jefferson Memorial Foundation Medal in Architecture, University of Virginia. United States, Institute Honor of the American Institute of Architects. United States, 
Honorary Member of the American Institute of Architects. United States, Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. United States, Hadrian Award, World Monuments Fund. United States, Vincent Scully Prize, National Building Museum. United States, Key, to the City of Austin. United States, UCSF Medal. United States, Key to the City of Sugar Land, Texas. United States, Uli J. C. Nichols Prize for Visionaries in Urban Development, Los Angeles. Uzbekistan, Honorary Citizen of the City of Samarkand and presented with a key to the City of Samarkand. Chapter 10, Ancestry. Chapter 10 Section 1, Patrilineal Descent. 